So I was working in a design industry and I was working with, um, as a program manager, I, I installed signs like, you know, pylon signs and signs on front of the house, you know, in front of the businesses. I mean, I was, and I worked all over the United States with that. So really, yeah, I dealt with a lot of people that loved my Southern accent. You got to travel a lot. <laughs> I did travel a lot, but I was super excited when it came home. Cause I got to eat <laughs> my banana sandwiches and sorry, but it's okay. Banana sandwiches and with you know, peanut butter, no peanut butter. It was banana sandwiches, mayonnaise and black pepper. Wow. Okay. That's old school. Pineapple sandwiches, peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter was like in a swirly can with, it was Bama jelly swirl with j- grape jelly and peanut butter straight from the jar. No bread. Yeah. Yeah. That was a treat. Wow. Okay. I, I was just thinking Um, at some point I got into, this is going to sound weird, peanut butter with pickles and maybe even a little sugar. And I would like, sometimes if we had bananas, I'd use bananas and peanut butter. And then other times somebody convinced me to do peanut butter and pickle and I liked it. I was addicted to cheese toast. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Cheese toast was my favorite thing in the world. It was like cheese toast and then Rice Krispie treats, the cereal with lots of sugar in it. Right. That was my go-to. So that was comfort food when I got home because I would travel so much and we would go out to eat all the time and which was great. I got to experience a lot of different things by then and I we had private jets so I got to go into private jets. Oh and my goodness! Fly and red carpet. I felt special, by the way. You know, that's amazing. it was it was super cool. That's amazing. Yeah, I got to do that a lot. It was so much fun. It was a great job. I met and we all, all of us had a really great time doing it. But I was in my I was in my degree at that time. And I could have continued on, but I wanted the opportunity to work in the ID, de- uh, the IT department. I thought they were super cool. I wanted to be over there with them. And so I was trying to get myself over into that department at the sign company. And I couldn't get there because they wanted me to stay in program management, which was making them a lot of money. Right. And so I had to do this thing where you didn't know a lot of people, right? There wasn't networking systems set up for us to find other jobs in our industry. It was like, who do who do you know? And then I got a phone call from a, a person that I knew that was saying, hey, I've got this job for you if you want to go get it. It's at Lloyd's Computers. And I'm like, who's Lloyd's Computers? And it was a family-owned business, and it was just so, so – it was a great opportunity. Mm-hmm. The guys were cool. They treated me like I was a sister. No, I always felt comfortable going out on the job listings with them. And I got to meet all kinds of different people. And I think that that started me going, where do I want to go in my career? But if I did not have that opportunity, I don't know where I would be right now. So with the when you were jet setting and, and you were a program manager, was there just not a tremendous upside other than if you owned that company? I mean, was, you may have just touched on this, but what, what was the limiting factor to having that as a future you know, it seemed like you enjoyed it. I did. Or is that just kind of, uh, there are certain jobs out there that are only kind of for the young. When you're young and you've got energy and you don't have a lot of commitments, is it, is it that type of thing? Well, it was very fast paced and I was gone a lot. I was probably um, traveling a lot more than I was at home. Mm-hmm. And I, not that I didn't want to do it. It was, it was a point in time where I was like, I, I paid my way through school and I got this degree. What do I do with it? And this is, I had a programming degree and no one, when I graduated, I didn't have the experience. Mm-hmm. I had no experience. I had no outside experience other than just a few hours working at the mainframe in the computer lab at the college, but no one actually would hire me as a programmer. And mm-hmm. it was like, okay, this is frustrating. What, what do I do? Yeah. And um. I came to that road. I was like, do I either stay in what I was doing, which I was making really good money, traveling a lot, handling really good accounts. I had a solid future. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, so I had to to make a decision. And this this is the part where I had to make that. I kind of came to the fork in the road and I decided to turn right. Gotcha. Isn't that amazing too when you think back? I don't know. Did you have a particular, other than the person just contacting you, was there someone else in your life, though, that just said something and it kind of resonated and it kind of gave you that confidence to, like, go that to that right fork versus the left fork? Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, there's so much history in the way I grew up that my father was probably the, the main person uh, that really pushed me to start my business. Mm-hmm. 
And, and I really had a problem with, you know, accepting that because it was like, you know, not a lot of females were in that industry at this time, you know, being a web designer, you know, and at the time there was no SEO. It did, there was nothing ever heard about that. Website was just starting. Mm-hmm. You were lucky to get a three or five page website design at that time. Right. You know, you were, you know, maybe a business card layout, you know. You were using front page? Well, that was my first class I took because mm-hmm. I wanted to learn. What happened was there was a guy upstairs in Lloyd's Computers and I went upstairs. I was working on some networking, Cat5 cabling for a, a job that we're about to do. And he was sitting at his computer and I just happened to walk by and he had a screen up and it was a kind of like a business card. I don't even know if there was a logo on it. I think mm. it's just like a name, phone number, <laughs> maybe. Right. I think it may have had an email. I'm not sure. But that was it. And I was like, what? is that and so it that's how it started and i'm like how did they get that because i knew programming i was like how do they program that to get it there Mm -hmm. i did not know those i know that sounds dumb now but that was the basis of like how did they get that from where where did they get that from and how did they get it there so i started doing some research and there was a there was a professor that was teaching front page at the community college down in florida and I went on a Saturday to take the programming class and it was so basic. And I was like, what? I can do this. This is like awesome because I wanted to be creative. Mm-hmm. But then like, where, where does, how, where does this go? And so front page didn't, did not last very long. It was almost like an, in, in a brief intro yeah. into where I went. And that was into micromedia programs like Dreamweaver, Adobe Flash, Mm -hmm. so forth. And those are things that we didn't go to school for at the beginning. It was like there wasn't classes for that. So website design started out just really basic. I did some logo design work. That was, you know, I mean, I think back I'm going, how much work did I really do? Like how many logos did I design over the years and how many websites have I done? I've kind of lost that count. And um, But my father said, what are you doing with your life? And I said, what do you mean? And this is before I I found out that I was going to have twins. My little girl was in preschool. And um, he says, you've got to do this. And I'm like, Dad, you're crazy. There's no way. No one's going to do work with a... uh, I'm in a a field that no one really... I mean, I'm a... a, Hello, I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. And he goes, it doesn't matter. You need to do this. And I said, well, what do I call myself? He goes, designed by Carla. Oh, I'm wow. like, what? That's cool. I said, no. I said, dad, no one's going to, it's got my name in it. It's a girl name. He goes, it doesn't matter. It's what they need to know. They need to know your name. Carla. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because he was an entrepreneur. He was like, the I call him the original OG. He was one of these, it was just magic. He could start a business and he was very very good at it. When he talked, you better listen. And I was like, so I pondered about it and I just like, okay, all right, let me see what I can do. And then it was just like, all right, let's do this. And I prayed a lot. I bet. <laughs> when I first started, it was like, well, how do I get people to know me? How do I build a business? I had no clue because those things were not there and networking sure. was not available. I was a mom at that time when I finally stopped my corporate job at Freedom Communications because no one, everybody was getting jealous. Like, you shouldn't be working at home. You should go get a real job. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I have got a real job. Yeah. So I stayed home and launched the corporate. I just decided to do this. I Both feet. No net. 